YouTube. Today I'm going to show you how to make a Mexico drill type beat. And this kind of sound like a Xantos type beat too, but anyways bro. I'm going to say let's get into the first melody. And this is the wave pad from Nexus. And this is what it sounds like. So yeah, I kept it very simple. Just this chord progression, I don't know if this has a name. But I took this, pitched it down 5 semitones and then just placed it wherever I think it would sound good and then just added this note for a little transition. Then I added this sound, I think this is a arpeggio from Nexus, this is the sign bells. This is not a layer of this pad but just to add some bounce and shit to the beat. So this is what it sounds like. And yeah, then I added this sound, this is the bassoon V from Purity, and I just cut out all the frequencies, then the low end, and then you get this sound, and I think this gives a lot of bounce, bro, I really fuck with it. Same notes as the wave pad, and just continues like this. So then I made this piano. Again, these are the same notes, just added some smaller notes in between for some bounce and shit and this is what it sounds like PN Ballad Grand Piano and I really like this melody bro it just gives the beat a whole lot of character then I added this sound this is soundtrack from Purity and just for some atmosphere and shit so only two notes at the beginning and then my last melody is a layer and i layered the first pad melody with another pad this is the lost temple pad And bro, don't wonder if you have Nexus 2, the Lost Temple pad. Normally has a lot of high end, but I cut all that shit out, bro. I just wanted the low end. So it sounds like this. And this is the whole loop altogether. If you want this, just DM me on Instagram. All that is linked in the description. Or just comment under this video. And yeah, that's a melody, pretty simple. And then we got the drums. I'ma play them in whole and then talk about it. I'ma start with the 808. How am I gonna explain this? I just took the root notes, bro, and made this melody. I also played around with the octaves right here. So I pitch this up one octave, but then I pitch this down because I really like this transition from uh, here to here. And yeah, then at the end I made a little, very very little change, so the melody has a bit of variation. I just put this up an octave and all that is the same. Then we got the hi-hat and this is just a normal Beethoven hi-hat, this is what it sounds like alone. As you can see, I worked a lot with this like three step, I don't know, three step bounce, two step bounce, whatever you call it, and then just added in like a height roll in between, and then added some snares. Yeah, I don't think I have to show you all this. Leveled out the melodies, I always put my melodies 6 dBs down because then the vocals have so much space and it's easier for an artist to record on this. Um, for effects, I didn't really go crazy too much, so Paramedic EQ and some reverb, Flangus or whatever you call it, Flangus. Then I added this fruity compressor for this typical like plug vibe. When the 808 hits then everything gets quiet. If you know, you know. And then edit this fruity mute. This is like very typical plug source and sounds like this. Gives a whole lot of bounce. 
and then just added the soft clipper with the threshold a bit to the left. That's actually it for the beat. I know this tutorial was very fast bro, but I hope you learned something anyways. Also got tap in with my new loop kit that I made with Young Valentino. Dropped like two days ago and we got some fire loops in there bro for real. So check that out and that's it for today. Tomorrow I'ma bring a, I don't know, stupid cool tutorial. I don't know yet, you can comment on it if you want. But yeah, that's it for today. Hope you have a great day bro. See ya.